Hi, so I will be teaching you today how to use everycircuit.com online circuit simulator. So if you don't have any offline circuit simulator on your computer, this is a good way. Or this is a good alternative for you. So let's go ahead and simulate. Okay, so if you go to everycircuit.com slash app, you will be redirected into this kind of environment. So let's just go ahead and click that or cancel that. And make sure that you already sign up for every circuit. Once you sign up, you can start using the software. So let's go ahead and make this full screen. From, let's click this button here to expand. Okay, so you can, we can zoom this in. Okay, so you can see that the default, that the default window has a ground already. Okay, so on the top part of our of this environment, you can see that there are so many components that we can use. So this one is an AC, this one is a voltage source, current source. So all you gotta do is hover on the components to know what kind of components they are. So right now we're just gonna create a very simple circuit with a battery or voltage source with a resistor and some voltmeter or ammeter to measure our current and our voltage. Okay, so let's go ahead and click this voltage source here. So we can move this somewhere here. And then we can also just connect like that, okay? So let's have the resistor. So the default value for this resistor is 1K ohms. Okay, so we can connect our components. All you have, all you have to do is click this part here. And then the second click that you need to do is click on the component where you want it to connect. Okay. But I could be wrong because we're still going to add some ammeter over here. So let's just delete that and let's add ammeter. For us to measure the current that is passing through our whole circuit. So let's go ahead and add that to our whole circuit. So we can just rotate this. You can see on the upper lower left, sorry, rotate. Or you could use R on our keyboard to rotate. All right, so let's go ahead and connect our ammeter. Okay, so take note, if you want to measure the current, then the ammeter must be in series with the whole circuit. If you want to measure the voltage, then our voltmeter should be parallel to the component that you're measuring. So let's go ahead and connect our voltmeter. All right, so now we have one volt, and then we have one kilo ohms of... <laughs> one kilo ohm uh, resistor so in order to simulate that you can see the play button here on the up lower left to run the simulation so let's go ahead and click that so you can see that the current is flowing to our circuit so this is what i love about every circuit app that every circuit.com also there are a lot of online simulators that uh, has an animation like this so so that is more pleasing to the eyes and it makes you more excited to simulate. Yeah, so again, we have here the ammeter reading of one milliamps, which is correct because if you divide one volt by one kilo ohms, you will get one milliamps um, as per ohms law, all right? And then we also have the voltmeter reading of one volt across our one kilo ohm resistor because it is again parallel to our voltage source okay so if you want to change the values of our voltage source and resistance you can do so by clicking the component so let's first with, let's go first with our voltage source here okay if you already click that you can see here the settings or um, yeah the settings and click adjust and then there is a knob somewhere on the lower right that will come out. And then you can just click that. Oh, sorry, you can rotate that clockwise or counterclockwise. So for clockwise, it's to increase the value and then counterclockwise to decrease. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our voltage, say, to seven, 70 volts, for example. So we have here 
the chain. Of course, we have the 70 milliamps as the reading from the ammeter and then 70 volts a reading from our voltmeter. So that's the way to change our value for the voltage source. Okay. So this, again, uh, another advantage that I can see from every circuit compared to the one that I'm using offline, which is Proteus, is that you can change the values of the components even if it's still running. I mean, while the simulation is running. Because when you use Proteus, which I will be making another tutorial, I mean, a separate tutorial for that, um, you cannot change the values unless you stop the simulation. So this is a good way. So, okay, let's click our resistor here. And then just the same thing that we can do. It's just that the resistance will be changed instead of the voltage. So let's can rotate that to say nine kilo ohms. Okay, of course, if you compute using ohms though, you will get these values for the current and the voltage. Of course, voltage is always 70 volts or uh, parallel to our voltage source. So that's it for our very, very simple circuit simulation using everycircuit.com. I hope you've learned something from me and watch out for more videos, more tutorial videos on some offline and online circuit simulate. So thank you for watching and like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when there is a new video that I will be posting. So thank you and bye.